hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we are going to be making a full circle sleeve and an off shoulder circle sleeve so we are going to make two different types of circle sleeves in front of me i have two different fabric for illustration it's just for illustration purpose i have scissors i have measuring tape I have chalk, I have pen and I have paper with my measurements. So let's get started. So if you are new here on my channel, you are welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. To my old subscribers, thank you all for coming back to watch my videos and thank you for supporting me. Keep on supporting me. Keep on sharing my videos. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you. So to get this full circle sleeve, you are going to be measuring your round arm hole and divide it by two. And then you measure the the length of the sleeve you desire, you want. You measure and then your round arm hold, you are going to be dividing it by 6.28. So my round arm hold is 18 inches. 18 divided by 6.28. So I got 2 inches. So my radius is 2 inches. So now in front of me, I have a fabric and folded it into four. So I have the open side here, one, two, three, four. And this down part too is open. Only this side and this offside are closed. So what I'm going to be doing now is to take my sleeve length. After taking your sleeve length, you have to add one inch for hemming allowance. So my sleeve length is 13 inches. I'm taking it in the center front in the corner here. Plus one inch hem allowance. So it's 14 inches. So I'm going to mark 14 inches all around. So I've taken 40 inches all around like so and I, I'm connecting all the points. So recap of the measurement. To cut these full circle sleeves, you need two main measurements. The length of your sleeve and then your round arm hole measurement. So in this case, my round arm hole measurement is 18 inches. So you divide your round arm hole measurement by 6.28 and whatever you get is your radius. So when I divided 18 by 6.28, I got 2 inches. And the length of my sleeve is 13 inches plus 1 inch hemming allowance. So I mark here 14 inches and I mark all round 14 inches. So I'm getting my scissors to cut it out now. So I cut it out now. And I'm going to notch these two ends. And I'm going to tip to mark the midpoint of the circle. So I got my circle now, as you can see. So now, I'm opening my circle. This is the wrong side, this is the good side. So as you can see, this is the circle I got. So this is the midpoint and notch. So guys, these are the notches. One, two, three, four over there. 
So I'm going to connect all these four points. I'm going to draw a straight line. And I'm going to draw across this line too. So the next thing I'm going to do is to find the where the around arm hole will be. So we have two methods, but I'm going to use one method. The other method I will make a video specially on that. So this one, my radius is two inches. So I'm going to come down from the middle line, this midpoint. So I'm going down two inches. And from these two inches now, I'm going to mark two inches all round. When you are taking the two inches, don't let it go above this midpoint. This middle line, don't let it go above it because whenever you finish cutting and you are fixing the sleeve, you see that the one side is small, it's showing down more than the shoulder side. So you have to come down by two inches. And then from these two inches, from these two inches points, you come down again two inches and then you take it all around. Then you are going to connect all the line like this. If you start to take the two inches from here, it will go above the line like so. So you have to take two inches here, come down two inches again, then you take it all around. So this side is the shoulder side and this is going down. I'm going to notch the ends. You see, my sleeve is already formed. So, I've come to the end of this full circle sleeve. This is how the full shoulder circle sleeve look like. So the high, this higher side will go to the shoulder, this for the shoulder. This higher place will go to the shoulder and this short one will go under the armpits. So, we are going to the next sleeve, the off shoulder circle sleeve. And I'm going to use this fabric for illustration. So I have folded this fabric into four, like this. To cut this off shoulder circle sleeve, you need the, your round arm hole measurement, and then you need your around shoulder measurement. So if you get the around shoulder, you'll find your front and back measurements. So in this case, my around shoulder is 46 inches, and my sleeve length is 9 inches, and my front is 13 inches, and my back is 13 inches. So you minus your front and back from around the shoulder measurement. So my shoulder is 40, around shoulder is 44 inches. And my front and back is 26 inches. So 20, 46 minus 26 is 20. That's how you get the sleeve. The front of the sleeve and the back of the sleeve is going to be 10. Because I'm going to divide this 20 inches into two. 10 inches for each sleeve. And each sleeve 10 inches, I'm going to add one inch for seam allowance, for sewing allowance. So it's going to be 11 inches. And I'm adding one more inch for the armhole, to cut the armhole. So it's going to be 12 inches. Let me go over it again. To cut this off shoulder circle sleeves, you need your around shoulder measurements. 
and you did your front and your back to get this sleeve so my right shoulder measurement is 46 inches and my front is 13 and my back is also 13 so 30 plus 13 is 26 inches so i have to minus 26 inches from the 46 inches for the around shoulder so if i, I minus 26 inches i'll be left with 20 inches so 20 inches is for the two sleeves front and back for the off shoulder sleeve front and back is 20 inches so each sleeve now is 10 inches so this 10 inches i'm adding one inch for journey allowance to join it on the body and then one inch to cut the armhole so in all is 12 inches so that means my front will be 6 inches and my back will be 6 inches making 12 inches so what you have to do now this 20 inches for your two sleeves divided by 2 10 inches plus the 2 inches allowance uh, that's 12 inches so you are going to divide 12 inches by 6.28 and whatever you get is your radius so now I get 2 inches plus 1 inch is going to be 3 inches so 3 inches plus the sleeve length 3 inches plus 9 inches you get uh, 12 inches so my sleeve length is 12 inches the radius 3 inches plus the sleeve length 9 inches is 12 inches I'm going to mark 12 inches all round I hope I'm making sense it's clear to you guys I'm going to mark 12 inches 3 inches for the radius okay let me mark the radius first 3 inches for the radius all round then I'm going to take my sleeve length 9 inches this is the 9 inches so 3 inches for the radius plus the 9 inches is 12 inches so I'm going to mark 12 inches all round So I'm going to connect all the points. So I take my scissors and I'm cutting it out. So I'm going to notch here. This is the shoulder points now. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to notch here so that it will be easy for me to arrange. So guys, this is how it looks like. Next, I'm going to mark the 5 inches. to be marking five and a half inches for the armhole and then one inch for the hemming allowance so six and a half so I'm going to connect like this so this is the armhole so this is the shoulder this goes to the shoulder side and this is for the armpit I'm going to open here. So this is it. So guys, this is what I got. This is the up shoulder circle sleeve. And this is how it look like. So before I put it on my mannequin, I want to explain something to you. You can use a bias tape to pipe the shoulder line the edges and then hem them down by half an inch or one inch 
or you can cut lining for it and use this as a, as a template on to cut the lining and sew it to turn it inside out so now we are going to the mannequin to show you how it looks so guys this is how the full circle sleeve is looking like it's looking so beautiful nice elegant this is the front side this is the side this is the back side so look at how it fits beautifully so this is how it looks so now I'll show you the I'll be putting the off shoulder circle sleeve also for you to see how it looks so guys this is the off shoulder circle sleeve you can do it any length you want and my around the arm is a bit bigger than the mannequin one so I have to give it a bit of pleats to fit the mannequin so this is the final look this is the side this is the back this is the front look so this is the final look for both the full shoulder circle sleeve and the off shoulder circle sleeve so guys I have created a Facebook group where you can share your creations sewing tips and many more and if you make any dress for yourself watching me on YouTube and recreating what I'm making you can still share it with us in the group if you are interested in joining the community the link will be down in the description box so please join us let's share ideas together thank you so we have come to the end of today's video if this video has been helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, share with family and friends, hit on the subscribe button, and also hit on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified anytime I upload a new tutorial. So thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me, continue to support your girl, thank you, bye!